Hi everybody. So this is uh, the MCP and TCP uh, support for the Tukan Studios plugins. Um, I have loaded these plugins in chain and bypassed uh, all but the first one. And I took a chain that uh, is channel strip that is a bit wider than the normal channel strip so you can better see what's going on there. First plugins I show you are just um, giving you some information. Um, and then later on, um, the plugins um, can be controlled uh, directly in the channel strip. So that's the um, tape machine as we know it. And they can click on show embedded in MCP. And there is your tape machine. Okay, cool. Um, the delay machine um, just shows you the input signal and the delay amount. The delay machine 2 shows you your delay graph. So if you change that here to longer times, it will change here too and um, it will uh, show you the levels. Here we have the, um, the equalizer. Uh, let me just make a bit for you to show. And there you can see your equalizer. This is a bit fun because um, we have this um, stereo uh, visualization and we can put that into our channel, which is um, better to use in the master channel, I guess. Okay, what's next? The um, NC76 compressor. And here we have just the um, amount of gain reduction displayed. LA1A, same thing, amount of gain reduction. Here we have the uh, reverb plugin, Lexicon, which shows us um, the input signal and the reverb signal. Lexicon 2, the same but in blue. Here we have the limiter. I'm sorry, that was loud. And uh, it shows us the graphics it shows in the plugin itself. The modulation plugin um, shows something interesting we don't have in the plugin itself. It shows the state of the modulation. And now we get to the plugins that can be controlled from the um, mixer strip. Um, so here we have the um, the AC trim, and we can control the um, the depth of the um, tremolo and the amount of reverb in the MCP or TCP. So here we can control it, and the green LED is now on because it's bypassed. Now it's blinking and it's blinking here as well. So that can be controlled. We have the, um, the compressor 2 
which also just gives us the um, the graphics. But the maximum uh, amount of gain reduction can be reset by clicking on the right half and we can switch to the um, VU meter by clicking on the left half. Here we see the um, envelope shaper uh, where you have attack, release and makeup gain or out gain. Where you have the same graph, but this time by clicking on the um, attack, you can adjust the attack by clicking on the release. You can adjust the release, and in the middle, you can adjust the output gain. Here we see the um, the EQT, or actually it's called EQT, which means listening or hearing in French. Uh, 1A and here we control the um, these four knobs by dragging these four bars. Here we see the um, the exciter with fat bottom where we control all the knobs, all five knobs. We have the um, low frequency, the low amount, the output gain, the high frequency and the high amount. Here you see the, um, the gate and expander um, plugin where we can control um, the threshold value and we can see what's doing there um, with that LED. Here we have the <coughs> preamp plugin um, and the MCP and TCP features um, the input and the um, meters as well. And of course you not only can put that in the mixer strips, you can put that in TCP, which means that appears in your um, in your track headers here. Now it's so small it just shows the meters and if I make that bigger the um, the knob appears. I hope you find that cool. Bye bye.